So, um, welcome. Hello to room so far. Somebody save me! <laughs> it's I good, we made it through. to the good one. Thank fuck. Though I have a few more comments to share with you folks, I'm afraid. Oh my... This reaction was just full of little nitpicks, exaggerations, oh, questions that were answered but not retracted, predictions that don't mean anything, and then ideas of what they thought could have worked better. I mean, come on, this isn't Batwoman. <laughs> You can't run a series on this because the show actually has to be garbage. It is, though. It is, though. Um, again, it'd be nice if you identified what those questions, exaggerations, and nitpicks were so that we could actually address them. But it's better to just be vague so that there's no comeback at all. And you could just toss these kind of comments out without receiving any criticism in turn. That's uh, that's a good way to do it. You're not safe here, okay? <laughs> Jesse's bag. These guys desperately need a foil in the group to counter the nonsense they spew sometimes. Isn't it odd that the spewing only seems to happen with properties that aren't allowed to be gone after? We don't need, we need a foil, a foil when we cover the lock. sequels, we don't need a foil when we cover Game of Thrones, nor uh, the shitty MCU movies. It's so weird. Mandalorian mm. is the one that we need this foil. And also, provided that the arguments are sound, foils are unnecessary. If everybody's making good arguments, there doesn't need to be a foil. It's just people making points. Shadow Versity was kind of like that in the EFAP podcast I did on season one, but he was always outnumbered. So Shad you know, conceded Shad that the yeah. points he was making were not positions he held. He was just trying to create points that he thinks people defending the show might make. And he even said the show is about a three. Yeah, uh, Honestly, like it would have to depend on the standard I'm rating it by. Um, and so if I was to rate the writing and consistency, it would get like a three. Oh shit. Uh, so I don't know why you'd advocate that he's the one to save you. Because <laughs> he's not yeah, going to. He, Shad ain't the one to save this show, if you think he's gonna be the- <laughs> I honestly think Shad will think season two's, uh, the, especially the combat in the past few episodes we've seen, I think it'll be hard for him to enjoy that. Yeah, because it's just boring. And just, the, all the stormtroopers are incredibly stupid. Wrap them where? In the cargo control area. And yeah, I don't know why you would expect a full deep dive in what is a reaction thing. Because obviously, we've explained a couple that people were like, we didn't even explain the problems with the pit droids, which was like a misconception on its own, but you know. Um... <coughs> oh, Rona. Wow, you guys really hate this show, don't you? <laughs> Not really. It's fucking no. terrible, that's why. <laughs> yeah, this show's really... Well, we don't hate it, it's just bad. I'm starting to get really bored of it. I this, for this yeah, I'm a little bit more bored of it re recently. Those last two episodes were really painful. Uh, we don't hate it, though. They kinda have to hate on everything. You know that thing that we do? We just hate <laughs> on things. Uh, I'll admit, he's kind of right. All the hate we delivered to Hill House and Bly Manor, even I mm. felt we were going too far. Yeah, and Civil War and Joker and all this stuff that's good. Lord of the Rings. The amount of hate, man. Yeah. Oh. Crazy how we don't enjoy anything. Like, I don't know how we do it. Life it's is crazy. a constant struggle. Clearly, <laughs> Battle, what you haven't realized, they're catching on. The comment section's uh, catching on. We only oh, hate no. on. They're discovering our secret. Soma? Yeah, fucking hate Soma. So, um, uh, shitty writing is shitty writing, regardless of what's popular at the time. Oh, beautiful. That sounds about right. Mwah. Yeah. Maybe they'd like it if the writers put in some effort. <laughs> yeah. I think we'd yeah. like it a lot more if they did. I, that'd be fucking tits, man. And then Jesse the coming back in with the, the right hook. The returning champion. Jesse, stop it! Stop it, Jesse! <laughs> Bad, oh my bad god. dog. Bad dog. Moore's favorite MCU movie is Civil War. The third worst MCU film behind Thor 2 and Captain Marvel. Fuck off. Mm. Imagine it being that wrong. <laughs> the third That's worst insane. MCU movie. This is layers of wrong. You think Black Panther is better than Civil War? You think Iron Man 3 is better than Civil War? You think really? Ant Man and the Wasp is better than Civil War? <laughs> I forgot Ant-Man and the Wasp existed. Everyone does. <laughs> it's, it's hard to remember. What a hot take. I like you, Jesse. You keep up the good fight. <laughs> Can you guys spot if Jesse entered this way? Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> they have Trump derangement syndrome levels of hate for this show. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> You see, man, don't derange with syndrome. Man, man, we just like, hate. Mm -hmm. I, li I like these quotes. They remind me of. Uh, you guys ever hear that quote from the the It TV movie? Why is it doing this? Why does it hate? Why is it so mean? 
<laughs> it's just like it applies to this right now when people are like, why must you hate Mando? What did it why do to you? EFAP. Why did EFAP hate? <laughs> All they do is hate. Objective criticism is hard to swallow for a blind follower. Oof. Oof yeah. Oh. If The Mandalorian was well written, then we'd love it. But alas, it's trash. And this is the thing, by the way. There's a lot of people in the comments section who agree with us that this season has been garbage. Like, this isn't... Mm. It's just funny to see <clears throat> these comments. You got blind follower. Ironic. It's not trash. The sequel three... Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> the sequel's three! It's like the Brothers Grimm. Yeah. Uh, was so bad three. that they won't let this one have a fair chance at just being a show. Now hush, episode five is out. Do you see the logic? We hate the sequel so much we won't let this be a show. I don't... okay. <laughs> We don't even hate Maybe the sequel. Well, I guess I do hate TLJ, but uh, I didn't hate Rise of Skywalker. I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, it was. I mean, it, it was, was really very funny. funny. These other things are worse. Therefore, this should get a pass for just being bad. Just consume. Oh, <laughs> Tywin, with your logic bombs. Who are you quoting? <laughs> He's like. Nobody actually said this. They asked where they got jetpack fuel from. If you need the show to explain that, I think your bar is unreasonably high for no re for no reason. Shit. No no reason. Reason. So um, so a jetpack offers a lot of uh, options for Mando, and it's um, incredibly useful. And mm. it frustrates me that he just he's a tank with infinite ammo and infinite flight abilities. He doesn't seem to have any limits. No, he has no limiters on what he could do. He couldn't even drown. He got saved by three other Mandalorians. So, yeah, I get annoyed at the idea that Boba Fett's armor, so many years after it was found by Jawas, passed over to the sheriff guy, Marshall, and then he's still got fuel in there. <clears throat> I don't think you can just... appearing rockets. Yeah, like, the idea that jetpack fuel is just in a vending machine or some shit, it's like, no, I don't believe it. I don't believe... I don't know where you're getting this from. Like, where would Django and Boba Fett get it? It's like, well, I mean, since they're a part of either the CIS or the Empire, <laughs> they've got incredible resources. Well, yeah, they have money. They could probably go and buy it at jetpack fuel stores, or they buy their fuel rods, or they buy the liquid whatever they squirt into, which is probably blue, and they squirt <laughs> it into their jetpacks. Like, well, I, I can um, believe they can, but... Mando, on the other hand, like, he's... I don't even... It is weird that he just seems to always have resources like like because he never goes out and buys things he never has an item acquisition episode or part of an episode where it's like i need to i need to top off my this or i shot all my rockets in that last fight or i need to refuel my da 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 these would go a long way to show us things about the bounty hunting trade and how you have to maintain your equipment and stuff used to think you guys were really right but i'm beginning to think you guys are really just hating to hate also your community is getting a little toxic so this is and in Jesse reference to the fact that there's lots of comments that agree with us. They're getting toxic. <laughs> just... A worse fate has never befallen anyone. Uh, we have Jesse saying true dat. EJ says, I agree. I love EFAP and have followed this dude since TLJ, but I think they're starting to turn into teenagers at a high school movie party. I think he said that before. With Avatar and The Mandalorian, they're starting to stretch into CinemaSins territory, especially with this episode. I agree there are oodles of writing issues with The Mandalorian, but they're approaching it like me and my friends do with Sharknado. They're not the same quality at all. Like, um, I can see why he said that. Like, you shouldn't be shitting on Sharknado like you do Mandalorian, but you can treat anything with this standard. And, um, funnily enough, we did Hill House with this. We ended up just Hill shutting House up. It comes out really well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, I find it interesting that it's like, oh, you get into cinema sin territory. It's like, what are the two examples? Avatar and The Mandalorian. You guys need to recover from Avatar. It was one <laughs> subject. Do you yeah, know how much media we've it. talked about between the Avatar stuff and The Mandalorian stuff? It's like I slapped your mother and you just won't forget it. <laughs> and look, Corrupt Angel's back. I'm not sure what you mean. The show's writing is terrible, and almost everything they pointed out was valid criticism. Well, so now we're getting into references. You ready for this? I'm, oh, I'm so excited. ready. I, I've been ready for this <clears throat> since longer than I can remember. So, mm -hmm. time to get fucked in terms of you guys saying that no one was referencing. Here's some references. They were constantly complaining about stuff that literally doesn't matter. All right. So oh, I think that's hyperbolic. Like... I think that's a bit much, but he's going to prove it. Half of episode one's coverage was complaining about the marshal not having his helmet on. That's a lie. So that's a lie, yeah. We know, we know exactly why he didn't have his helmet on, so they could see Oliphant's face. We made that very clear, and every yeah. time his helmet not being on was a stupid choice from the character, it was pointed out. It was a valid criticism, and it wasn't the whole of the first half. But moving on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second part is them complaining about the marshal talking to Mando while they were on speeders. And it wasn't the content, but just the fact that Mando could hear the marshal while they were riding. Yeah, that's bullshit. 
Yeah, it, there's no way still, that makes any sense at all. Also, it was another off the hand comment. I don't think we talked about it a lot. We'll see. You don't understand what it was like. You can't. Oh, I guess you cannot hear him. <laughs> yeah. It started after we got news of the Death Star blowing up. What? The second one, that is. <laughs> what? After he went, what? In, in reference to how they couldn't possibly hear each other, he then followed <laughs> yeah. up with. This is why the entire show is broken. I obviously, I, I edited it out because I didn't want people to know uh, how horrible that uh, was that you said oh that. Oh yeah, that's but, right. It ruined everything. But the thing is, the residue of you having said it was detected by this person, and they know what you said, Rags. They know that you think that all of season one and two is bad because Mando heard something he probably shouldn't have. It's just really weird how they're zooming through that desert super fucking fast, and they're just having a casual <laughs> conversation, not lifting their voices at all. It's just you, you really know weird what, because I know how air works. You know um, what would have fixed it? If, if he would have had a, a helmet on. Yeah, yeah, you could actually say they patched into each other. and the, Yeah, yeah there you undoubtedly. Go. Second, they complained that Mando is now okay with droids because, quote-unquote, he got over it in five minutes in the previous season. It wasn't just five minutes. The story was... of Mando getting over his distrust of droids happened over multiple episodes. No, it didn't. Even if he was right, that would be terrible. Yeah, even if it was right, that would be terrible. But two, that doesn't actually happen. Nope. If we take the first episode and all of the things that the droids do to Mando and to Baby Yoda, he should never trust another droid in his life. Like, the show tries to portray like he's gone on an arc and now he trusts robots, but multiple robots try to murder Baby Yoda in front of his face that he has previously trusted. Them continuously asking why the town is even there if the dragon is a thing without remembering the fact that the town is a mining village, hence why they stayed. No, no, yeah, no, no. The, dragon, the dragon was there before they built the city. Yeah, but it's say. because of mining you see metal. So when, say for example, you see a, a diamond on the floor, it's like, oh, I'm gonna mm -hmm. grab it. It's like, oh, but the floor is insta-kill lasers. Well, mm. I'm gonna grab it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So they just sort of just toss out that it's a little mining compound town. But how, I feel like if it was good enough to where they would stick around to mine and everything with this crate dragon on the loose, mm. that must be insanely profitable to make it worth the, you know, potential death also, and the risk of town destruction also, constantly. Also, Rags, also, if they know that the thing is spooked by a ship, don't you think they would have a ship? You'd think so. They Or just, just some <laughs> vibration creator. Yep. This is one of those, you're caught between two arguments. It's too dangerous to be there, or it's too valuable not for loads of people to be there, and a system set up to account for the crate Dragon. You lose one of the two ways, you're welcome to choose which one. He moves on to say, what they're doing isn't really criticism, it's nitpicking. Also, I love in how just... other series, they complain how the show or movie is hand-holding the audience, but the second they don't tell us a very specific thing with a full backstory and context, it's complete meltdown with the Mandalorian. What do they mean, hand-holding? So, what, they're trying to create show? a false dichotomy where either we say something doesn't explain it enough or it's too explained. That's our complaints. <laughs> There's no in-between where usually whatever we complain isn't fleshed out enough is just stuff you need to understand what's happening. I don't understand why that town is there. And you're like, oh, they mine stuff. It's like, I'm gonna repeat what I said because apparently you think that that's an answer. To follow up then, you got Bender said, how so? I think they were really on point with their criticisms, especially with, oh, using the banther as a bomb. Like, can you explain why they did not do that? Would you also like a bit more of an explanation than y'all toxic and nitpicks? EFAB is one of the best communities I've ever been a part of. I love having discussions with so many people, but everyone is different. Oh, that's nice. Yay. So yeah, I think it's going to take some time, but people will get used to this. Mandalorian is really bad. This is the last one. I thought it was golden. If you guys don't watch the Clone Wars, you won't understand this season as much as someone who has seen the Clone Wars, and that's an objective fact. Mm. You are opinions this season will be less valid than those who have seen the other show and know what's going on. Stop being fair weather Star Wars fans and go watch it or don't complain about characters you don't know about it LMAO. Yeah, but the writing for the episodes is still shit. This is about episode one. What in episode one makes more sense if we'd seen the Clone Wars? Surely that's an indictment. On this Absolutely. show, if if you can't understand important things because you haven't watched some other show, I don't so. know what we miss that the Clone Wars just clears up or makes a not issue. <laughs> yeah, man. And, uh, uh, if only I had a fucking example. I mean, my biggest issue with the characters is that they're fucking all—they're all stupid. And believe me, guys, I'm referring to the comments. 
you don't want us to go watch the Clone Wars, okay? <laughs> yeah, you, Clone Wars. you think y'all really want to do that? How, what, <laughs> you think the Clone Wars is going to come out all right? It's going to be a bruised and battered corpse that crawls along the floor. We'll be like, well, that was worth it. Now I understand how much worse Mandalorian is. And I'm sure as more episodes release, we're going to get even more interesting responses to check out mm. here and there. But I'm watching like you. We've reached the halfway point. Uh, and we are yeah. now about to cross into episode five. This is the second half. Maybe the, the plot will begin. Season. Maybe sure. we'll get something resembling a, <clears throat> a plot. Yeah. This Man, that scene was so fucking cool. <laughs> we locked them in the control room. The hell stop <laughs> them. <laughs> oh, they wanted to show this again, I guess, because they thought it was cool. <laughs> Good on them. Yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> this is the reaction. <laughs> Why is every planet a shithole? <laughs> Aren't there nice places to live in Star Wars? Not where we're going. No, we're going to the dregs. Hmm. Oh, it's Kylo Ren's out there. He's trying to find <laughs> he's the thing. Spider Oracle. <laughs> It's Ahsoka Tano with her white lightsabers. Oh, she's got the reverse grip. Reverse grip means that they're like double damage. Is this supposed to be the good one? I mean, that fight I, probably made the most sense out of any fight in the entire show. Also, that's Michael B. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with the fight, yeah. Mm. You guys should probably go into the place. Why are they on this side of the walls? Draw her out. No. no. <laughs> you draw her out. Yeah, you draw her out. Oh god. Uh, right <laughs> I don't know how they didn't see her coming here, right? Yeah. I oh, suddenly know. lots of fog. Holy shit. You guys need to just go into the fucking fortress at this point. I don't know why. Look at the fog. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Did she never chop those off? Nope. Her big things on her head? I've been expecting you. You will learn nothing from me. I won't give you that choice. How many lives is the knowledge I possess worth to you? A hundred. They already suffer under your rule. Surrender. Or face the consequences. You have one day. I mean, it's pretty clear she's just gonna say no, so... Yeah, she's pretty anti-you. Yeah, she seems like she just wants to torture people. We will be ready when she returns. We'll have more maskless, faceless <laughs> losers with guns. <laughs> they did guns. so well this time. Also, Rags, the guy who just said that. That's Hicks. Oh! Mm. I guess everyone's fucking creaming their pants because Ahsoka Tano is in this. See, if you like... watched The Clone Wars, you'd understand what's going on, so you can't really complain. Back in your seat. <clears throat> So we can understand him? I guess. Seems like it. But not when it comes to deadly wires. <clears throat> yeah, we know what the force is. <laughs> it's a weird scene. But it's 2020. You could have accomplished we've, we've seen this. the same thing as he sits on the chair, looks at the thing, and the scene cuts. And we can figure that he might have grabbed it with the force. Hey, look, a razor crash. I can add it to my collection. <laughs> This is as good a place to land as any. Mm -hmm. I think they'd have a spaceport in the city or something. Or oh, we guess they're going towards a beacon. Is that a giant, like, yeah, that's alive. It's a uh, giant, yeah, yeah it's a, it eats dead trees. So this is prime real estate, really. All right, we don't have the floaty thingy. Mando, you let Mando have the, you, you let the baby have the choking hazard. What did I say about that? This needs to stay in the ship. A rare moment of him parenting. Is this thing gonna save someone at some point because he has it? I fucking hope not. <laughs> Why didn't he land in town? Or next to town? That would be just what they'd expect, Rex. You gonna close up your ship? Nah. You gonna close that? Yeah, you gonna close that up? Oh, okay. Hi! I landed way back there. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, actually. I don't know why. <laughs> I didn't- I didn't communicate with anyone traveling in or anybody, but... Hey, hi. Hello. Hi. Nice armor. Thanks. You a hunter then? I'm an accountant. You know what they get, get up to in this galaxy? Open the gate. 
Be funny if Mando had headed toward the city and just had gone to any one of the other sides <laughs> and there was just no door and he's like oh yeah he walks around <laughs> the entire walk city around. looking for a gate <laughs> like hey finally gets there he's panting he's like oh God. finally jeez and the first thing the guy says is you could have landed inside you planet. fucking moron <laughs> every s fucking town is just some shithole have you heard of anyone i just need to know the magistrate wants to see you okay I, don't I think they would have just they would have just collected him as he entered. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. weird. Hmm. You know, I think this town's up to no good. You think? I do oh, think. Yeah, I mean, there's some people locked in those <laughs> things up there. No, that's fine. Yeah. I was more thinking about that guy's weird look. This stuff is normal. Like you guys have this in your cities, right? Oh, I have one right in front of my door. Well, I hope they free this city by the end of the episode. Ah, this I like is how nicer. the sky looks different in this area. <laughs> as well. Yeah, it paid for nicer air. Nice place with the green and the come water. Come forward. Ah, uh, it's the only way I come. <laughs> so, yeah. I have a proposition that may interest you. My price is high. I want you to kill her. That's a difficult task. One that you are well suited for. No. The Jedi are the ancient <laughs> enemy of Mandalore. Here, have the spear. He's like, just give me a sec, I'm on my way. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back now. <laughs> is this a sword like weapon? He's like, is this a pencil? Like a big <laughs> one? Pure Beskar. Kill the Jedi, and it's yours. But I have it already, it's in my hands. I'm gonna See fly ya. away now. Wee! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean. This is already doing way better than most episodes because we're so simple right now. There's an evil yes. town, Ahsoka's <clears throat> trying to free the people in it, and Mando showed up, and now they're hiring him to kill her. It's like, okay, all right. Okay, this makes sense. I know what's up. What is that thing? It's a hand. I have two. Oh. <laughs> this is <laughs> eight around this is... <laughs> oh, I guess it is time for Michael Bean to just be playing grumpy old men now. He's Wasn't not ready. like old. But, I mean, that's kind of what I'm getting at, is he he seems to be playing that right now. Just well, I, mean, I obviously up. want him to be in more stuff in general, <laughs> just because yeah. big fan of Twitter and aliens. I honestly think she will attack him first. <clears throat> yeah. These are the coordinates. We must be Here are the coordinates where she is. <laughs> I like that the town has coordinates for where she is. <laughs> Oh, she... look, Space Owl. It's... Yeah. <laughs> it's by the Space Owl. He says two instead of who. Oh no, he has predator here. <laughs> Plus oh, one. Ship. What? What? Uh, uh, Beskar what? blocks lightsabers? Uh, is that how that works? Oh, so she knows what Mandalorians are, right? So I guess Beskar is lightsaber proof. I hope it's about him. Looks like it. Very proof. Because there's wow. not even a single scratch wow. or mark. Also, how fucking lucky he got there. Yeah. If she had chosen, like, any reasonable person to attack him in his non-armor spots, he'd be fucked. Yeah. So, man, Darth Vader should have just made his armor out of Beskar. And then I know, right? Wow. And she had him on them for a while. It wasn't just sparking off. Yeah, right. like, if it was glancing, like, really light, very low-angle glancing blow, and like, eh, okay, sure, yeah. But, man, these are just, these are lightsaber proof. His armor is Fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, I won one. His armor also must hate him. I get shot, I get stabbed, I get sliced, and what are the things I get? Nothing. Lady, it's cold and I'm hungry. Also, I shat myself. <laughs> also, her hat looks awkward. I don't think that's a hat. No, I mean, her hat looks awkward because <laughs> the makeup is like... Oh, okay. ...is a hat. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't look like it's it's the wormy skin stuff that they have normally. Mm. It, it looks more like it's rubber. It's waiting for something to happen. At least we know why the episode's so long this time. <laughs> yeah. Is he speaking to you? Understand him? In a way. Grogu and so... I can feel each other's thoughts. Sorry, did she just name it? Grogu? He was raised at the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Many masters oh, trained him over the years. Really? Really? At the end of the Clone really? Wars, when the Empire rose to power, he was hidden. Someone took him from the temple. A lot of masters spent time becomes, training an infant? He seemed lost. I've only known one other being like this. Yoda. 
a wise Jedi master named Yoda. The Force is what gives him his powers. To wield it takes a great deal of training and discipline. He needs your help. But I can't help him until I help the people in that village. You have to help me so that I can help you help him help us all. Yay. Let him sleep. I ain't stopping. <laughs> I'm not doing it, I'm sitting morning. here. Let's see what knowledge <laughs> is lurking inside that little mind. Can stop and lift charging mud horns. It's insane. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, in Venice Rags, he was taught by the greatest Jedi masters for many years. Apparently. Do you even teach a fucking toddler? I, I yeah, I was about to ask it. that. It's like, I don't know how much sense that makes. It can do things Yoda couldn't do in his infancy. Wow, show off. Can't wait for a show where we never have to deal with a fucking force or the fucking Jedi. <laughs> Man, just looking at this. Man, this is way better than a jetpack. <laughs> Rags, it's the biggest yeah, selling point. The They're never going to not do it. <laughs> Even though I'm pretty sure we he discussed this back when we saw season one. It's like, yeah. would it be neat to have a whole show without Jedi? Because, you know, there's a whole galaxy okay. out there of non-Jedi. <laughs> he doesn't Statistically, understand. most people aren't broken. Jedi. Told you. Yeah, it's like it's an infant. Yeah, weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm just confused about how you would train an infant like this. Her lightsabers look like um some kind of... Yeah, razor blades. Razor blades, yeah. that's it, yeah. I sense much fear in you. Oh god, Vader 2. It's a baby, they're always afraid. It's in a strange place with a strange person. Throwing rocks at me. Throwing rocks. <laughs> it's Very slowly throwing rocks at me. That would be a first. I like firsts. Good or bad, they're always memorable. Right. First Holocaust. I hope first on oh, no. They are memorable, right? <laughs> Tell him to lift it up. Alright, kid. Lift the stone. Krogu. He's gonna get out the ball from his pocket. Grogu. Come on. Take the stone. You That's see? my slave name, man. I told you he's stubborn. <laughs> you freak. Try to connect with him. Get the ball from your pocket that he took. Have you tried taking wants. your helmet off? Yeah, so it'll be the. Me? Yeah, you're right. God, I'm so fucking smart. Wow. Grogu. <laughs> Mel clearly watched this episode ahead of time. Do you watch Clone Wars? That's how I knew. <laughs> I feel like if I was Mando, I would have told Ahsoka, yeah, like what he did with you the Mudhorn. Yeah. Like, he is astronomically powerful, inexplicably. I knew you could do it. Very good. He's formed a strong attachment to you. I cannot train him. What? His I mean... attachment to you makes him vulnerable to his fears. Oh, we're still doing that. His anger. All the more He's reason an to train him. Yeah, right. exactly. All the more reason mm. to train him. Seen what such feelings can do to a fully trained Jedi. What they did to one oh, person. Also, as right. if you Yeah, don't... but this is horse shit. This is the Jedi horse shit. <laughs> yeah, this is the Jedi horse shit. I will not start this child down that path. I must get back to the village. Wow, you Jedi sound great. The magistrate sent me to kill you. I didn't agree I, to I anything. I ain't gonna. And I'll help you with your problem. If you see to it that Grogu is properly trained. Just don't train him shitty. Yeah. I like how one time it went bad, and so no one will ever do it ever again. Yeah. It's like, okay. Tens and tens and tens of thousands of years of it happening. Also, it's one, not, it wasn't Anakin getting trained that made him evil. It was, it was the yeah. fucking crazy Sith Lord. Who manipulated him. Yeah. Don't underestimate the Magistrate either. Who is she? Morgan Elspeth. During the Clone Wars, her people were massacred. Hmm. She survived and let her anger fuel an industry which helped build the Imperial Starfleet. So did the CIS the just go around killing populations? Yeah, it looks Why? like she's still in business. Which is weird because one of the whole ideas was that they weren't totally malevolent as like a side. They had their motives. Yeah, they had legit grievances against the Republic. And depending on what the Republic did or didn't didn't do, I probably would have joined with them. It depends on how shitty the Republic is, essentially. The Republic was okay, that's one thing, but the Republic was just awful and they didn't do anything for my planet. They're like, yeah, I'm joining the CIS. The Republic's not doing shit for us. Let me part of the alarm. Don't be alarm. I guess he's gonna like jump up. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot that was Oh, it's just like Milan. <laughs> He, he stopped firing yeah. for ages. That guy's got the You're gonna try and you're gonna try and fight her with your soft bell thunker? Would you not, Rex? Would you not? Also how easily she just effortlessly sliced through that big bell. Mm-hmm. But she can't like, come dang. Dang. Best car, man, you know? 
I feel like that would have been difficult, like the blast doors from episode one. What do you mean about like yeah. Michael Bean's got like old man stance? I don't know if it's him or if it's the what they wanted him to do. Why yeah. hasn't she ever done this before? How long has she been here? The criticism I'm assuming you're aiming for there, Fringy, is what a coincidence that she decided to do all of this one day prior to Mando visiting this place randomly. I like the way the robots move. I remember liking the way IG-11 moved in the... Yeah, I do too. Yeah. I have to pick up the tiny little details in this show that I like. Like, the robots are cool. Mm-hmm. Your bounty hunter failed. Where is your master? Kill her. Love to. But I can't because I have a blaster. <laughs> yeah, why, 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 do you guys, why do you guys think you have a chance? <laughs> Good question. She's a Jedi. Why did she stand there for so long? <laughs> I like that moment of, oh my god, this is terrifying. Can I have a second blaster? Maybe it works then. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> he was watching this like, this is so epic. Ah, oh, oh. ah get that. Don't. Mando's gonna save him. Yeah. <laughs> Kick him in the face. <laughs> Why did you move toward him? Yeah, was like, want a hug? <laughs> Take up these guns. You are the resistance. I feel like splitting up is the worst idea when also, you're fighting a Jedi. Also, close quarters against the Jedi is a really bad idea. Yeah. In alleyways. Like, maybe y'all should just wait here. Wait at the gate. Honestly, if I was one of them, I'd be like, guys, it's over. <laughs> I'm just putting my gun down and sitting yeah. down and just like, yeah. Well, that one guy me. on the roof had the uh, right idea. <laughs> yeah, he ran away. He got to live. That guy's yeah. out somewhere being alive right now. He's like, I like how being a Jedi means walking around and spooking people. <laughs> 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 Is that the Jedi way to scare the shit out of people? Why did she oh, do no. that? That cool move. Maybe the robots will have a better chance. Conversing in alien language. So not frog. Not frog. No, they speak robot. I wonder if he's gonna get like a, a boss death. Even though. Why we... don't people shoot Probably. shotguns at Jedi? He has a shotgun gun, as you can see. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, and he has to do pump action, too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it didn't even work. That doesn't Fuck make, off. That doesn't how did make you, any how sense. I guess you just missed. Why oh, would, the robots did. Why would he need oh. pump action with lasers? Why does <laughs> it yeah, I guess that's, 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 I don't know. It looks cool, I guess. Oh, look at it go. Ooh. Man, robots are cool. Oh. More robots. More robots. Ah. They are completely Ooh. cool on a totally surface level, and it makes me off. laugh and smile. Stand, they need pistols. Also, it needs to be Dawn. He's like, you know what? I don't get paid enough for this shit. <laughs> yeah. Mandalorian would... and the Jedi? Fuck off, I'm out of here. So you're through with the Jedi. Because the issue is you have three Looks people just shoot simultaneously, and the Jedi's not done for. You know, faking- oh wow, that cut weirdly. Yeah. Faking his death, mm. the Mandalorians, by the way, I don't see what the point of that was, really. Uh, they're gonna have, like, a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, we doing two boss fights at once? Yeah, because with this Beskar thing, she she's not gonna be able to cut through it. Oh, well, my she has God. the Force, so she can just- that Take solves it that. out of her hand. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. will be a really easy fight. Unless she's, like, a Sith or something, but- Maybe. Like it. Can no, this isn't necessary. Just use your Force and take her, <laughs> take her off her feet. Or just take the- here. Good thing we established Beskar's lights are saber proof. Mm-hmm. Lots of time walking in this. Why did you walk into spear range? Alright. <laughs> it's a spear, it's used for thrusting. And that's no. No. You want the pointy end facing the back. You kill you it. Just just moves her, yeah, your saber. fingers are gone. You see other lightsaber. Yeah. Gotta slid down okay. there. All she needs to do is slid it. Yeah. 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 Why not use the force to? I guess is the is she like playing honorably, like no force? That's dumb. She didn't play honorably with those other guys. Oh, this is still happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This fight has gone why on for way too long. Why do people not stab with spears? Like, why do people insist on not stabbing with spears? It bugs me. Mm. What are you doing, Michael I Bean? Wow. That's embarrassing. I don't know how you she managed She could have killed us so many up. times by now. I were a lot alike. Ah, we're not willing so to different. lay our lives down for the right cause. You have a scope on that shotgun? Which this is Seems not. Like it. That's on the off eye oh. side. Mm. I mean, the lasers will travel much further than your average shotgun shot, right? <laughs> 
reverse grip means that they're like double damage. Oh, right. Sounds like you win. He's faking it. Why not? He's like, well, um, I guess I work for whoever. He's faking it. Probably. Got a no way. <laughs> Wow, that, that was fucking like, anyway. Like, there was, was lame. Oh, here. There was no stakes. Was all... Well, that was yeah. lame. Mando's that immune to lame. fucking death. Why would I yeah. care? Yeah, like, what's the point of bringing this actor yeah. in? Yeah. Oh, wow, that was lame. <clears throat> the show's so fucking lame. Everything's no. lame about this fucking program. Where is your master? Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? Oh, oh Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, <laughs> Good job, guys. Now the people can live in prosperity and happiness. I like how even the sky is clearer now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that guy. Yeah. Now you get to be the leader because we voted last night. <laughs> Maybe he was the leader in the first place. I don't know. Maybe Seems he like was, the, yeah. The town was no, attacked. I can't accept. Why? You literally can. I didn't finish yeah. the job. All oh, right, I gotta kill you. No, but this belongs with the Mandalorian. But I mean, Ahsoka's coming with you, right? Like, no, she's gonna go on her own adventures. In her own TV show on Disney Plus. Where yeah, she probably. Uh, definitely. I'm pretty sure that's already been confirmed. Back at the ship. So does she have no more Wait Beskar here. in her palace? You'd think that you'd look him. around and there's probably some really good stuff in there, like a lot of like fucking boatloads of money. I don't that's, understand that's though. For the like, town what ranks. is Mando, Mando, Mando's plan? Like, what is his plan now? He came to find her, and that's it. Yeah, we just we just hit a dead end. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I get no matter what he, stuff. no matter what he does, taking the child with him, leaving it, it's like, what, what are we doing now? Maybe Empire will show up now because of that tracker in his, you know? Well, good thing they didn't show up because they would have gotten Baby Yoda. It's just the yeah. RPG town music right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like <a> Legend <laughs> of Zelda. Oh <my> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the idea is he was going to give away the baby, but something's gonna happen. You're like a father to him. A really shitty one. <laughs> I cannot train him. We had a deal. You made me a promise, and I held up my end. There is one possibility. Go to the planet Tython. Oh. There you well, will find that... the ancient ruins of a temple that has a strong connection to the Force. That fixes our dead end, I guess. Place Grogu on the seeing stone at the top of the mountain. Then what? And then run. <laughs> then Grogu may choose his path. What? Well, he's an infant. If he They're reaches dumb. out through the Force, there's a chance a Jedi may sense his presence. And come wow, woman. Him. No, you what? promised. May the force be with you. Okay, I guess you can just break your promise. Cool, Mando is, is okay with doing a whole other goose chase. I like that what she told him was you put him on a stone and some Jedi yeah. might collect him. You're like, what? Maybe. So I'm just oh. supposed to wait until someone maybe arrives? <laughs> that's, uh, that's kind of, kind of... That's acceptable. Kind of weak. In fairness, he didn't do fuck all in the town, like, as if he was ever in trouble. Yeah. He kicked a guy and he shot another. Well, there you go. Yep. Well, explains that. I think it's the best of the, the law. It probably is the best. Oh, yeah. Probably, yeah, the, yeah, the best. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, like there's really a lot dull. less wrong with it. Yeah, like, I, I wouldn't want to rewatch it. I would go with meh, is my it's the most, yeah. view. It's, I wouldn't say there's a lot good with it, there's just not a lot that's like bad with it, was, it you know it was simple they kept it simple it was really simple i think is uh yeah the big yeah. thing but again Can't she reneged on the deal and now yeah. he's going off on yeah. some other goose chase so um she just flat out said no i'm not gonna <laughs> this is kind of funny you you put on a clip was it yesterday free isn't her thing that she's not a jedi she doesn't she doesn't at all like to identify as a jedi I think that's the the idea from the most like recent. I I don't know enough about. Like I said, I've watched some of Clone Wars. I haven't really seen Rebels at all. I just remember that that was a scene from it where she fights Darth Vader. Yeah. And yeah. She says she's not a Jedi, so I guess she would consider herself to be like just a rogue agent. She was referred to as the Jedi by like everybody, and she kind of owned the label here in this episode. I guess we should interpret that as what she is then, because this is the most recent one, and Dave Filoni wrote it, and he did the Clone Wars, so... Also, I was gonna point out that, like, the fact that he arrived here around about the time she did, it's not convenient to this town plotline, because she would have killed them all anyway. It wasn't oh, fucking yeah. hard at all, they all suck. 
All Why was Michael suck. being in this? What was the point? So that he could stand around and get shot? <laughs> he wasn't even Pretty a character. Much. He was just a random head of security guy. What's up with people who, like, you see the Mandalorian. You see that he's, like, resistant to all forms of damage inexplicably. He blasts away everyone that he sees, and you're like, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to be the one. Yeah, he was so happy with himself once Mando put his hand about three inches away from his pistol. He was like, ah, I've got you now. <laughs> it's like, okay, so whether or not you draw faster than he does, you did see what he was wearing, right? He has Beskar. Which, as we now know, blaster. is indestructible. Indestructible, basically. Yeah, because this guy has to know what Baskar is. His fucking boss uses the, the spear. So I guess the blacksmith forge can melt it down, but the heat so of a lightsaber doesn't do anything to it? Hmm. Is it like adamantium where you can only melt it once? That's a weird rule hmm. they have for adamantium. It's like so then a how, did, how did it get into blocks in the first place? Oh, know? fuck. I, I think I might even be... <laughs> someone's out there's going to be like, that's not a rule for adamantium. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's <laughs> something to do with like... It, what you, I can't remember if it was X-Men Origins when they're like, in liquid form, you have to keep it in liquid form because as soon as it goes solid, you can't liquidize it again. But you're right. How could it be in blocks? Clearly forged with and Empire stamped blocks. On them. Yeah. yeah, they were in mm. Yeah. So yeah, the lightsaber does not burn as hot as the uh, the forge. Interesting. I find that hard to believe, but all right. Yeah. Why not make? It just seems like a missed opportunity. It's like why not make uh, Hicks be this opportunistic security guard? Yeah. And he's I like, that's what they were gonna do. Once he clearly loses the fight and his men are all dead, he's like, you know what? This ain't worth it. And he just leaves, yeah, and we I'm can a, see him I'm pop up some other time. But now we don't get him again. What it's was the like point? A waste. Why was what, they, why it, were they all man, so he confident? Was so, he was so happy to get his job. He he's so happy to finally get an acting job, and he got this gig to do. And then he gives he shows up. He's like, "All right, what do I do?" He's like, "Well, you pretty much stand around for two minutes, and then you die." Grogu. So lame. All the fights are lame. All of the enemies are just cannon fodder. No one acts as if they're real people. Every place is a dirty, grimy shithole. And they've name dropped Thrawn. I'm sure that was very good for lots of people. They were very happy about that. Uh, I don't even know what that eyes. means, but yay, I guess. He's, he's, oh Thrawn is like the Tywin God. of the Star Wars universe. Um, at least that's what I hear. I doubt that. No, I doubt it too. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm that. Um, just hearing that, oh, the, this thing is good in Star Wars. I'm like, no. What I've so heard crazy. from many is that the Throne books are basically the best of the EU content, and that Throne in Rebels sucks, and everyone doesn't like what they did with him in Rebels. Apparently, he makes a bunch. He's defeated by children in Rebels. <laughs> just FYI, don't have your mastermind villain get beaten by children. It really frustrates people. It happened in Game of Thrones <laughs> several times. Fucking Littlefinger getting defeated by two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Opening an old scar. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, you and yeah, so if Ahsoka considered this whole thing super important, I don't believe for a second she wouldn't use the Force to defeat the opponent instantly. She doesn't even seem to want to kill her first. She she's looking for info first. So like, why even risk it? And yeah. like, if the answer is honor, I should be like, okay. <laughs> Seems honorable to yeah, fight with two lightsabers against someone without one. That seems fair. You didn't care about honor with all those other dudes outside. And that's just oh, me man. giving the benefit of the doubt. Uh. Because yeah. imagine, like, in the Clone Wars, it's established that Ahsoka will never use the Force on someone if they don't have it themselves, or some shit like that. I worry for Mandalorian as a show. Just... I think that season three is probably going to be packed with just Star Wars shit. Or, like, it Reference feels City. Like it's, slipping, it's slipping further and further towards that. When, its own content is it's... thin and weak as fuck, and it's now relying on just references everywhere. It's like, hey, it's so mm, mediocre. It's clones. not even, like, fun to make fun of it. Midichlorians, Thrawn, uh, Yoda, yeah, Jedi, Ahsoka, Boba, Jedi Temple. Boba, We've seen five Storm episodes. Storm doesn't, doesn't feel that way. It feels yeah, like nothing's been done. Through. So a season and a half. The the plotline is while on a bounty hunt, he came across a baby, decided he didn't want it to die, and so had to kill the people who sent him on the quest in the first place. He kind of did, but then during that mission. He was told you have to take it back to its people, and he decided he has to find Mandalorians to be able to know where its people really? are. The Mandalorians he happened to find told him to go to Ahsoka, and Ahsoka has told him to go and place the baby on a stone. <laughs> that is the season and a half's plotline. It's kind of weak. Um... <laughs> 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 but we've had so many wonderful little adventures, such as when? destroying the big reactor on Navarro. That was neat. Remember when he shot the stormtroopers in that hallway? Which, oh, so which cool. one? Which part of that? You know. 
Oh, that one. Yeah, that one was great. <laughs> I can't believe he pulled his gun on Mando. Like, I've got you now. I just... <laughs> <laughs> I've got you. <laughs> and I guess... also he goes, like, he is invincible. What are, what are we doing? <laughs> In fairness to the dude, he hadn't seen the episode where Mando tanked about a thousand shots, so... <laughs> like... Mando's unstoppable. I kind of want him to die. <laughs> I just, yeah. Oh no! I'm just not... so I can get someone new and interesting. Yeah, He's I so don't know. I actually wouldn't mind following Ahsoka compared to him if I had to like choose. I would rather. I would just rather anybody Ahsoka. else. Yeah, just give me anyone to follow who's interesting. Just even slightly interesting. Mando was such a dullard. And he constantly Dull. wins despite not earning it. Very boring to watch. Oh, there's a bunch of people shooting from cover, and you're behind- how will you defeat them? I will run at them. <laughs> okay. They called him courageous for that. Yeah, sure. But yeah, that was the best episode of the lot. Good job. It's like, there's some stuff that's neat, there's some stuff that's really not neat, and then the rest of it is kind of It's mostly a coherent story yeah. that they tell here, which is a big plus to all the other episodes I've seen. Good you did it, episode 5. You yeah. did it. Look, I, guys, we, we don't hate everything. It's so funny, because, like, with Disney, because, of course, this is still Disney, I, I just imagine that once they fuck this up, they'll just start another show and be like, can you give us another chance? <laughs> <laughs> I say once Please. they fuck this up. That implies they haven't already. Yeah, we got three episodes left. Nothing but excitement. Hooray. What bad woman? Soon, my child. Yeah, I want that. Genuinely I can't soon. Believe I'm, One month We're sitting here watching days. this extremely expensive Star Wars show, and like, I want <laughs> that woman. Yeah. Bring back Batwoman. Batwoman is content rich compared to this. But yeah, that was episode 5. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank we'll you. see you next time. Yeah, I'll see you next time, everybody. See ya. Goodbye. <sighs>《You and I were a lot alike, willing to lay our lives down for the right cause.》Which this is not. This is what it looks like. Sounds like you win. What you bring me? assaulting a giant temple filled with stormtroopers to place Baby Yoda on a stone, and then Baby Yoda will turn to the camera and say, I am Lord this Vader. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Take me to Ki Mundi. So lame. Where is Ki Mundi? Is he well? Is he safe? <laughs> I want to, like, he's placed on the stone and it, it zooms into Keanu Mundi's corpse on that planet where he got killed and his eye opens. And you're like, what? 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 No, <laughs> Keanu Mundi actually survived that. Like Darth Maul, he has a robot body now. He has robot organs because they got shot in all of them. My case, Boba Fett was that fate. <laughs>